Okay, so today we're going to have here the preparation of the smear for identification of our parasites. So for today we'll be preparing here the wet mount preparation of our stool sample. Uh, this is your DFS or direct fecal smear. Okay, for the materials that we'll be using here for the wet mount preparation of our uh, fecal sample, we have here the Lugos iodine. Okay, then we have also here the NSS. We have here the slides. Okay, so it should be unused the slides. Then we have also here the cover sleeves. Okay, we have the cover sleeves. And we have also here the dropper and we have also the applicator sticks. Okay, for the wet mount preparation of our so sample, it would allow us basically to uh, identify the presence of our parasites especially the we're able as then to observe for the motility of our parasite in a trophocyte stage okay so procedure for this one so just have your first you need to label your slide with a patient's name Okay, so first one, we have here Okay, one drop of your NSS Okay, you put that one in your slides Okay, and another slide Okay, one drop as well of your Lugos iodine. Okay, then with our figure sample, we just need to pick here a portion of your soil sample using your applicator sticks. So making sure that you try to pick here the different part of the soil sample in order for you then to, reco to recover your parasites. Then allow it to mix with your smear, with your drop of your NSS. Then you try to prepare it. Make sure that one is thinly smeared and then the same through here with our Lugos iodine then we're going to put our cover slips Okay, now we have here already our prepared slide. So this is one uh, with our iod Lugos iodine. This is with our NSS. So when you are preparing your smear, make sure that one is uh, thinly smeared. So we have here even distribution of your fecal sample plus your diluent. And make sure that one is not overflowing. Okay, so if you have already prepared your a smear for your DFS direct fecal smear so this is already uh, you can now examine this one under the microscope for you to identify the presence of our parasite okay so that's it for our DFS for the blood 
for our fecal smear preparation for your wet mouth preparation or simply your DFS direct fecal smear.